solutions, which are homogeneous mixtures, can come in a variety of concentrations. We can go from dilute to concentrated. So salt water, saline solution, uh, it can be very dilute. So if you put some in your eye, you won't feel it. Or it can be concentrated where you put it in your eye and it'll sting. Or it be just right and you put it in your eye and it feels great. Um, our favorite way of measuring concentration is molarity, which we also call molar concentration. Molarity is moles of solute per liter of solution. Uh, so moles of solute per liter of solution, the equation, M for molarity, N for moles, B for volume. In this case, it has to be liters. We can unwrap that and get molarity times liters will equal our moles. So let's do a couple problems using molarity. So if we dissolve solid um, iodine in water, it has a very low solubility. So at 20 degrees Celsius, we only dissolve 0 0.0289 grams of iodine, I2, in 100 ml of solution. So we want to calculate the molarity molarity of this. So we're going to have to convert our grand into moles and then divide by the liters of solution. So we have our grams. We divide by a smaller mass. And we're going to get moles, 0.000114 moles of I2. To get molarity, we are going to divide by liters of solution. 100 ml is 0.1 liter. So we have uh, divide by 0.1 liter of solution. And we end up with 0 0.00114 for molarity of iodine in solution. So let's go another direction on this. If we have a concentration and a volume, how many grams of solute are in that? And if we work in a lab, this is how we make our solutions. We know what volume and concentration we need, so we have to figure out how many grams to weigh out to dissolve in that volume. So we're going to start off with this. Molarity times liters equals our moles. So we have our 0.282. And that capital M, it'll help us if we write that as moles per liter. That way we see that we have to multiply by liters. 250 ml is 0.25 liters. I'll give us 0 0.07125 moles. And we take this 0 0.07125 moles, multiply by the molar mass of sodium chloride, 58.44 grams per mole. And we end up with a 4.16 grams of our sodium chloride in the solution. There's another way that we make solutions. We take a solution and we dilute it. So when we take a particular volume of a concentrated solution, that will give us a set number of moles of the solute. As we add more solvent or water to it, we're going to increase the volume, decrease the concentration, but the moles are going to remain the same. So our dilution equation is M1B1 equals M2B2. And in this, we're not set on using um, liters for our volume. So if we're solving for molarity, uh, 
as long as our units are matching, they will cancel out and we'll get molarity out of this. We're solving for a volume. The molarity cancels off and whatever units we put in for volume are the units that we get out for volume. And for other volume-based uh, concentrations, we use a similar equation like this with just a generic concentration one times volume one equals concentration two times volume two. Let's do a, a couple of these calculations. So we have 50 ml of a six molar ammonia solution. We dilute it to 750 ml. What's our new concentration? Uh, so we're using this equation here. So our new concentration is going to be the original times its volume divided by the new volume. So our original concentration, 6.00 molarity. And I see that my units will cancel off, so I don't have to change them. So I can just have my uh, 50 milliliters on top. 750 milliliters on bottom. Run this through our calculator, and we end up with a 0 0.400 molarity of our ammonia solution. Another direction that we go if we're trying to make a solution from a more concentrated solution, we have to know what volume the concentration of solution is thrown off with. So if we want to make 750 ml of a three molar hydrochloric acid solution from concentrated hydrochloric acid, which is 12.1 molarity, what volume of the concentrated hydrochloric acid do we need? So we're looking for volume, so that's our equation. So our starting volume, 750 ml, that's what we're actually making, times its concentration of a three molarity, divided by the concentrated concentration, 12.1 molarity. So the molarity is going to cancel off, our answer is going to come out in milliliters. We run this through our calculator, we end up with 186 milliliters. 